Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, and welcome back to A Legionary's Life. Welcome back to Foreman Fox History, as I'm now referring to it as, because our character has killed so many people that they had to have changed the course of several historical events by now. We're just gonna do a little bit of fucking exercise. Never mind, we're in the game. Oh wow, it's not. How is it lagging? This game has no graphics. Consul Flamininus is known for being a Philhellen. Philhellen, a great admirer of Grecian culture. He thinks virtuous, honourable officers like you will help establish firm and long-lasting ties with the locals. I am the good that I did. Yeah, I know it. I also word real good. You you don't know. Your soldiers see you as a reliable and just- I know. Your victory at the River Aeos opened up a path through Epirus and into Thessalia, a region long under Macedonian dominion. Here you are joined by two allies, the Aetolians and the Athamanes. They have already taken control of several towns. The consul is determined to capture the city of Philoria, but is garrisoned by 2,000 soldiers of Philip's army. It soon becomes clear that this is going to be harder than usual. The defenders are driving back every assault. Days after the siege begins, your patrol captures a group of merchants not too far from the city. Do uh, you, you know anything? They won't cooperate. Uh, go back to camp. You've already done your part. The return trip is un uneventful. Today you'll storm the sea walls. Here we fucking go again. Wherever you look, men are at work building ladders. Getting the right length can be a difficult task. My intelligence is quite high. Let's have our say. Your rank carries weight. They listen to you. The ladders are ready. Only the field test will tell if you fucked it up or not. You advance towards the city. The assault begins. The defenders do what they can to support your action as the ladders are propped up against the walls. Their length may not be perfect, but they'll do. At least it's not a disaster. First man over the wall will receive a mural crown, one of the most highly regarded awards in the army. As a senior Centurion, you should count on the help of your men. Let's do it. Men are doing their best. Climb break next speed? I fail that every time, but I always get not hurt as well, so it seems kind of pointless. Okay. Garrison soldiers. Yeah, this is what I was dreading last time, and I was like, oh, I don't think we'll get the mural crown. I don't think we'll get the mural crown this time. Garrison soldiers aren't strong. But they're strong enough to cause an issue. I mean, a him, so that's pretty neat. But, like, these guys are just tough enough that trying to smash past them is rather difficult. So I don't think this is going to go the way I want it to, but we'll kill them anyway. I can at least add the kills to my kill count. You know I love that shit. Get out of here. I wonder if they give you more time. I doubt it somehow. This is going to take a very long time. I'm regretting starting this video immediately. <laughs> Just to see this fucking slog that I am inevitably going up against. I'm like, oh, fuck this, man. We have to take advantage of them leaving themselves open, and that's the best way we'll get through this, I think. Go for the torso. Linen doesn't stop a sword. I don't care what you say. It doesn't. It can't stop a sword. It can stop a sword from killing you, maybe. But it won't stop it entirely. Kill him. Oh, you know her, but it's the same. Oh, fuck's sake, you fucking faint me, you little bella. Who do you think you are? Killed your friend. Give me a minute and I'm going to kill you as well. Oh, fuck, no, come on. Oh, video game, you don't. Please. I'm not going to get the mural crown, but let's just have this over with as soon as possible. He hit me. I'm... Give me a minute and I'll fucking make him regret his entire life up to this moment. You missed, because you're a nerd. Hit him. Kill him. If I had that fucking star sword you can get, you can get a fucking sword made out of star minerals, I would be trashing my way through this. Kill him. Oh, come on. He's basically dead. Why doesn't he just fuck off? Why doesn't he just go away? Now he's dead. Maybe he should have left. Maybe he'd still be alive if he did that. Good. We're absolutely not getting the mural crown this time. Not a fucking chance. I really shouldn't have stayed aggressive when I did that, but you know what, it's fine. See? <laughs> I said with absolutely nothing suggesting that it would have been fine, it just turned out to be fine. At least we're hitting consistently, that's nice. You bell end. now I have no stance. Oh, I'm getting the fucking stance back. And we're already approaching the time that I would have beaten this by now if they were normal militiamen. Don't recover. You bitch. Yeah, that was our sink, because I said it just as he did it. It was weird. All I know is that... Fuckers make me miserable. Go for his head. That was good here. He recovered, so let's just go after his friend who's nearly dead. Go on, kill him. 13 damage through armor is really good, I have to say, but still. I just want him dead. Go on. 
fucking... I have issues with you. Go on, just finish him off. There we go, thank you. Very kind of you, video game. Oh look, he left himself open, let's try. Uh, the game's being nice to me. Please don't replace your friend. I don't want any more of your friends showing up. Fucking, just let me recover. Stop playing me around. Thank you. There's no way we're getting the mural crown. Not a fucking chance. If I kill him now, maybe. Go on. 36 rounds is pretty good. As soon as the last enemy is dispatched on the top of the wall of security, you look around. The thrill of battle mixes with deep disappointment when you realize you are not the first. Who made it up here faster than me? Seriously. You've left the ruins of Floria, but I don't fucking care because I didn't get what I wanted. And now I'm a salty little bitch. It's gonna be salty for the rest of the video. The salt is real. Fucking, I got no javelin. Fucking, I a little bit of shield and you suffer a mortifying setback at Artrax. Artrax? Your siege engines tear down a section of the sea walls, but the Macedonian garrison forms a phalanx behind the breach. They thwart any attempt to break into the sea. Why not fucking shoot them? I, I, I sort of angle the arrow over their shields. Or use rocks. You know, they, we have like cow pots, don't we? The fact that your manipul wasn't involved in the attack does little to lessen your frustration. This episode is an anguishing reminder of how impervious a phalanx can be under the right conditions. Flamininus raises the siege and leads you in search of less defended targets. The towns of Phenotius, Antisir, and Antisiria, that place, and Breezus, Hyampolis, and Dullus fall in rapid succession. I got money. I don't need money though, do I? You're crossing an irregular stony trail. Suddenly you notice something that freezes you in your tracks. There's a viper right next to your left foot. Its flat triangular head is fucking staring at you. I'm gonna attack it. Go on. Go on, bruv. With an impressive economy of movement, you unsheath your sword and decapitate the snake. Your companions chuckle at your display of skill and nerve. Oh boy, I had a search party. Oh, I can't fuck. There's mountains everywhere. Oh, f And trees. Ambush already. Enemies in Lin and Curus, each holding a light-colored shield, emerge from the woods to attack you on the flanks. One of them closes on you and throws his javelin. You deflect his attack and prepare to meet him at close quarters. They have the high ground, which has penalized our stance very slightly, so I'm not overly concerned, if I'm honest. Oh, and the odds look pretty good for me hitting him. So I'm gonna hit him. I hit him. Everyone is happy with this. It's not exactly how everyone wanted it. Go for his leg. Yeah. That was our sink. I said it after I did it. It's okay. It's okay. I have to reassure future me, because whenever I'm editing these and something seems out of sync, I'm like, why was that out of sync? What happened? It's fine. It's just that I'm a moron. That's all. There's no big deal. It's all good. As you approach the village, a hail of stones. Cool. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna try and capture you without uh, avoid bloodshed. We did this once before. We surround them, try and bring them to where we can fuck them up. Oh, something goes horribly wrong. One of your team gets too far detached and is swarmed by the peasants. You lead your legionaries to the rescue as quickly as you can. When you come close, you see one of the soldiers on the ground, eyes wide open, a large cut across his abdomen. So we're gonna massacre them then, aren't we, for doing this? Fuck you. Bullseye in the torso. That's awful. It's their fault. We would have, you know, been peaceful about it, but they decided to kill my soldier, so revenge. At least this will add to my overall score, probably. Dead. This is not a fight, and it's not intended to be a fight either. It's supposed to be uh, a representation of how you fucked up. And I did fuck up. I'm just gonna keep going for the neck. They have nothing to protect themselves with. No shield, no armor, no skill. I got a dagger. That is actually a weapon I can use. How strange. Is there any benefit? No, it has even less reach than my weapon. What would that mean for combat? It's fascinating. When they surrender, more than half the peasants lie on the ground, dead. You feel more like a butcher than a soldier. After the carnage, you do what you came to do and leave with a load of supplies. Well, I got the supplies, so fuck them. They shouldn't have killed my soldier, should they? Really? And I wouldn't have killed them. Let's collect the settlement. It's good to do the settlements because- fuck's sake. Pulse races as you hear an arrow thud. It's a fucking archer. You advance on the archers and they run away. It's good to go into the settlements because some of those random events can get you into interesting fights that can really benefit you. Like there's one in Carthage which can get you a lot of really good equipment quite early in the game if you're tough enough to win. Sharpens my mind, excellent. 
Play a board game. We're going to need to play more board games now because morale has gone down after I murdered those peasants. They should have thought about that before they were peasants. <laughs> the Achaean League joins the anti-Macedonian coalition. Flamininus and <laughs> Why was Philip the name I struggled with? Flamininus? Yeah, I can say that, no problem, but Philip... Look at me, I'm a stamp. <coughs> oh, I'm a moron. I'm so stupid. Flamininus and Philip meet again to no avail. Many suspect the consul of keeping a door open in case his command is not prolonged so that his successor won't take credit for ending the war. When he's given proconsular authority by the Senate, you are all certain that the conflict will go on until an overwhelming defeat forces Philip to accept all of Rome's demands. Also, your army is partly renewed when thousands of reinforcements from home join you. That's good. Time is over. Let's move on. Next to the the next big show. You camp in the proximity of Fair, one of I guess that might be what it's called. One of the most ancient cities in Thessalia. All you know is that Philip and the main body of his army are somewhere in this region. The air is heavy with tension. There is no way around a final confrontation to end this war. We might be at the end. You find some comfort in the knowledge that this is an opponent you have already defeated in battle, but the setback at Atrax proved that under the right conditions, the phallus can be nearly impossible to overcome. You can only hope that Flamininus is clever enough to prevent Philip from using his fearsome yet sca scarcely mobile weapon to its full effectiveness, or things could get very ugly. But that is way beyond your control. You immediately set the thought aside. You'd better stay focused on the things you can have an impact on. Did I not get to fight the Bulwark? Is this actually the end? Because if so, I'm quite disappointed. Because this character would have been perfect to fight that guy. It would have been a climactic fight. Everyone would have loved it. Whatever. You are accompanying a vanguard that mostly consists of light infantry. Your mission is to learn what you can of the Macedonians' whereabouts. It is a surprisingly short quest. You are crossing the hills to the north of your headquarters when you run into a similarly composed party. Enemies. Their own camp must be very close. Philip is certainly not wasting time. He must have learned your presence and is already on your heels. You don't have orders to attack on sight, so you just observe each other from a safe distance as you wait for the messengers who have been sent to Flamininus to come back with instructions. Ah, oh, mmm, I know what this is. Okay, alright, this will be interesting. Part of the rival vanguard belongs to the Agema Peltists. You can tell by their insignia. If normal Peltists are the best of Philip's infantry, these are the cream of the crop. You cannot attack, but you can issue a challenge to single combat. It could be an occasion for personal glory or an early grave. You know I'm going to issue the challenge. These are elite troops, and most likely one of their best will answer your challenge. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes! The leader comes forward, a Chiliarch, a commander of a thousand. There are only two of them in the Agema. In a brisk voice, he asks if you are FPS. Finally, I'm being recognized. When you confirm, he gives you a long appraising look. It seems you have a reputation even among the enemy. The way he hurls his javelin at you leaves no doubt about his deft skills. You deflect his powerful and well-aimed attack. As you prepare to respond, he unsheaths his sword. You are startled when you recognize it. It is not the usual blade they call Xiphos in this land. It is a Hispanian sword. Much worse, you remember seeing the decorations on the hilt. The sword belonged to Tertius Curius Dentatus, one of the most prominent Centurions in your legion. It was forged by a renowned Carpetanian bladesmith. Dentatus fell almost two years ago near Pluima and reportedly killed by a leader of the Agema Peltis. You don't believe there are more than a handful of opponents as dangerous as this one in the whole world, but now it's too late to back out. Okay. This might be the end of the video, maybe. That's a good start though, isn't it? I think you'll find that's actually a good start. So we're immediately gonna go on the defensive and just respite, you know. Let him go for it. There we that's exactly what we wanted you to do, my boy. That's still not a good chance to hit though. Maybe we should try and faint him. Go for a quick one. That's exactly how I wanted that to go. Try a torso hit. Fuck you. With your video game that's trash. He tried to faint, but he failed. Let's go defensive respite. We're going to be using a lot of defensive respite, although we can't stay in defensive position because it lowers morale, which is not good. We're a lot faster, apparently. Oh, fuck. Just keep respiting. This is going to be a test of endurance. We want to tire this guy out. Failing that, if we, can, if we have the opportunity to kill him, we should take it. But I suspect we're going to have to wear him down. Respite, please. Failed both times, that's cool. That's how odds work. I mean, that was something. Try a torso hit. Fuck off. The game lies to me. 
It lies. I don't like the lying. I was not raised this way. Go for me. If he wants to do feints, that, that's fine, because it tires him out. All of it tires him out. He's darting around. I ain't doing nothing. He's throwing out hits. Fucking good god, he managed to hit me in the head. That was unexpected. And he just blew... Oh, okay, well, oof. We literally haven't had a proper challenge this entire game, so... Yeah, I guess this has kind of caught me off guard, hasn't it? He missed. Well, let's keep trying the faint job. Nope. Alright, let's keep stance topped up. We need every percentage for him to fail, rather than... We just don't want him to hit us. Because that time he hit us in the head was really bad. He managed to attack and recover in one go, but that does tire him out. We're still... Fucking... Why is he so good at hitting me in the head? At times like this, it may seem... You may think to yourself, like, oh man, I've got to go for a swing. He's killing me. I've got to go for a swing. Not always... It's rarely a good idea. Fishing for a hit in this game is a poor decision. Because if you miss, you lower your stance. It's not a case of, oh, I missed the attack. Oh, well. No, it has dire consequences. We need him to get tired. That's good. If we can hit him with a feint, that's good. He probably won't bother recovering from that small amount of stance loss, but it still lowers his chance to hit. This is going to be really boring, and I'm sorry, but, like, I have to fight him properly. I can't go, go in screaming. I have to wear him down. It's the only way I'm going to win. I won't win if I just try and go for him. This is not like fighting garrison soldiers. This guy is one of the best fighters in this game. He might be the best, if I remember correctly. He tired himself out. That's good. That might be a time to put on a little pressure. Because even though it doesn't seem like it, he will now have a lot more trouble recovering his stance. This is where we can start to really pile on some issues for him, because we could lower his stance way down, and then he can't regenerate it. And as he tries to regenerate it, he's wasting turns as well. There's a lot that can be done here. Let's just pile on the pressure. Fuck. Now's the time to hit him. We've waited long enough. That does damage. Happy with that. Arm hits would be better for giving him more fatigue, but torso... It, uh, I was about to say, it's easier and pretty much guarantees a hit, but we missed, so fuck me, right? Go defense respite. This guy's... Fucking no! Fucking no! 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 Oh god, we're, we're in trouble. He killed us. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I don't think I've ever lost to him before. He's a tough fight, for sure. And I, like, I always take him seriously. I've never lost. I've never lost to him. Ever. That's the end, isn't it? God, fuck, I did, I, like, I knew it'd be tough, I didn't think we'd lose. And that's it, I don't know if you guys, some of you may not know this game. That's the end, you don't just get to try again, that's the end of the campaign. <laughs> My character is dead, this is over. This series is over, <laughs> fuck's sake. I, don't, I, I named all the fucking videos, full playthrough, it's a full campaign. Full playthrough, oh, fucking god. <laughs> I mean, technically, because I think that's the last zone, if you will, like the last campaign, the last push, the last bit that you're in before the end of the game, I'm pretty sure, but oh, it's technically a full campaign, but I don't operate off of technically. I don't fucking like technically. That's lame. This is lame. There were so many, not so many, there were two or three swings in that fight that should have connected that didn't. Like, the game just sort of... It didn't fuck me because it's all chance based, but it fucked me, and combined with the fact that he managed to hit me with two hard feints simultaneously, and then I couldn't recover at all. Oh, that's rough. Well, that was a Legionary's Life, everyone. I might do a full campaign of this sometime and actually get to the end, but I'm not doing it anytime soon.
because that's really demoralizing. Fuck. God. Oh. I must maintain my composure. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry things didn't turn out very well. <laughs> it doesn't feel good for me either, to be honest, but that's the nature of the game. If that couldn't happen, if things like this couldn't just randomly occur, then it wouldn't be satisfying to beat the game. There has to be the possibility for failure, and very sudden failure at that, in order for the game to be worth it. So I do love this game, and I will probably come back to it eventually, but I've played this enough recently now, thanks to this series, that I'm good to leave it alone for a little while. Because before I did the series, I've beaten this game like five times. There's nothing new here for me anymore. I did this purely for the channel, so... There's nothing else to see for me. We will be back. Hey, that was my fourth best. See, I've done tw up to 23 characters. I've done this game a lot. But FPS was the highest ranking character who did not survive the campaign because he did a lot. He's just behind Foreman the 16th. Which is ridiculous. But fuck it. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm sorry it didn't turn out, but there's only so much I can do about it. A lot of the game hinges on chance when you have percentage to hit rolls and stuff like that. You know, there's only so much I can do. I will come back. I just don't know when. But it's the end. It's the end of the series. Everyone go home. It's the end. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and I'm sure I'll return to this someday, maybe. I don't know. Uh, hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.